Hi, welcome back to our channel. This is Tom here and I'm going to show you how I make firewood processing easy. Here I'm navigating my track skid steer back to the firewood pile. This is a 232 New Holland track skid steer. I choose to use a hydraulic grappler bucket. This machine is capable of lifting 3,200 pounds. So this 30 foot log, 12 inches round, isn't very heavy for this machine. Just a little awkward navigating past the building without hitting anything. This machine's equipped with heat and AC, so days like this when it's 25 degrees, it gives you a place to hide from the cold weather going back and forth to the log pile. Processing a lot of firewood can be pretty labor intense. I try to use all the resources I can on our farm. This track skid steer and I also try to use the New Holland Power Star 75 tractor. In the past I've always used a Husqvarna Rancher 450 chainsaw. Just recently we purchased a steel MS61. I'm always trying to look of ways to increase my productivity. This chainsaw is very powerful. You can see here I don't hold back on any of the safety equipment. It's not worth taking a chance not wearing the chaps or the ear protection. I measure all my cuts out to 16 inches. This device here goes on the side of the bar with a magnet and you go down the log and just put little nicks in to mark the log. On cold days like this, it's always good to let the machine warm up before you run it aggressively. So this is a good opportunity to do that also. There's about two hours on this saw and this is the original chain so it doesn't cut quite as good as it did at the beginning but it still cuts pretty good for how big these trees are. They're 12 inches in diameter. We chose to purchase this saw to increase productivity. When you increase productivity, that increases profit. With just purchasing this saw, you can see I'm cutting real cautious with it. It's just unbelievable how much more power this has over the Husky. I've learned over the years running heavy equipment and power tools. If you're not familiar with something dangerous like this, you're best just to take your time and learn it and have respect for it so you don't get yourself hurt. This saw is making short work of this 30 foot 12 inch round sugar maple. That is about half the time that it would have took if I used my 450 rancher.
I did a little research on how to minimize bending over and picking up logs and needless to say I found this little gadget here. It's 28 inch long log hook. Whoever invented this was a genius. It really saves the wear and tear on your back from bending over and picking up each log. Eventually, I think I'm gonna purchase another one so I can drag two logs at one time. For now, I just purchased this one. It's about $60, but it was worth every penny. These logs are 12 inches across. I'm not sure how much they weigh. I'd have to say somewhere around 40 pounds, which doesn't seem like a lot, but when you bend over 40 or 50 times to get rounds off the ground, This is the new log splitter we purchased to once again increase productivity. I chose to get one with a log lift to also save the back if you have to roll a big round up instead of picking it up. going to do a couple different series of splits here. This first round is with the four-way wedge. You can see that I loaded three rounds on the log lift table and try to keep an eye on how long it takes to split these three rounds versus the other rounds. I chose to move my log splitting operation inside the barn. You can see the natural light coming through. There's no actual lights turned on right now. That's just natural sunlight coming through. It's making a pretty big mess on the ground, but it's way better than being outside in the elements. You can see my old log splitter in the background. I believe that one come from Lowe's or Home Depot. Still runs great, just super slow. I couldn't handle how long it took me to split wood with just one single wedge. This machine here cycles at a 13 second cycle rate where the one in the back there is a 20 second cycle rate. To split wood efficiently, you need about three people, one running the machine, one loading the rack, and someone stacking. I use IBC totes to stack the firewood and let it dry. That was three rounds with the four-way wedge. Now I'm gonna slip off the four-way and put the six-way wedge on.
This is an example of how much another set of hands helps splitting wood. If I had someone else here with me, they could be clearing this drop zone here while I continue to split. This six way wedge is making short work of these rounds. They're a little bit too big for it. If it was an eight or a 10 inch round, it would probably cut a lot better, but still being 12 inches across, it's ripping right through it. When looking for log splitters, I was looking at a bunch of different manufacturers. Wolf Ridge and Easton Made are both very good pieces of equipment. They just were not in the budget. Something comparable to this in a Wolf Ridge was somewhere around 10,000 and it was about 12,000 for an Easton Made. Another deciding factor with going with this unit is the availability. We had it delivered within one week. All other units I called and talked to the manufacturer, they were all backlogged, some of them up to 12 months. Seventy-five percent of my customers enjoy their firewood smaller like this six-way wedge is cutting right now I have a firewood stand alongside the road and most people purchasing are using it for fireplaces or just recreational campfires I removed the six-way wedge and now we're going to load up three rounds and I'm going to show you the single conventional cutting wick Running equipment like this, it's always suggested to wear some type of hearing protection. I normally put earbuds in or something and just listen to music. These machines can get pretty noisy. The wood we are splitting today is sugar maple. I split all kind of different kinds of wood. A lot of my customers like cherry, like the guys that use them for smokers. We also have some black walnut on the property that we've had harvest off for some people that have sawmills in the local area. Leave a comment down below and let me know what wood you prefer to burn with. Me personally, I'm a big fan of cherry. I love when it burns, the smell of it, and even whenever I split it. The single wedge still cuts decently, it's just not fast in my opinion. You can see here after a while I end up putting the four-way wedge on because I just wanted to get this done but the single wedge always has a place whenever you're cutting real hard knotty wood and you have to splice it up it definitely has a place for it my final thoughts on this piece of equipment is I'm pleased with it I was capable of building it someone that didn't have mechanical experience might struggle to put this machine together it took about two hours. I've also made a video of uncrating this unit and laying all the parts out and the final cost, estimated around $5,000 for this unit, plus $300 in oil. The current market in western Pennsylvania for quality firewood is about $300 a cord. Us getting all of our logs off our property maximizes our profits.
80% of my firewood customers comes from my roadside firewood stand. It takes about a face cord to fill up all the slots. It's equivalent to about $140 per face cord. Thank you for taking the time to check out our videos and how we process firewood at Fate Farms. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and share them. And we hope to see you in the next one.